Cheryl Chase. I want you to know the man that I know. I met Paul when he came back from Iraq, and he was a major in the Army. He served his time in Iraq. He served our country. He secured our border in Yuma under his leadership. He was commander. Commander Chris Emmons was also with him there, and they did an exceptional job in securing our border, and so that's what we need to be focused on. I came into office with him, and I worked with him side by side, and I know the love and the respect that people here and the people in the military have. I know a lot of his friends, and the love and the respect under this fine commander, under this fine sheriff, that's the thing to focus on, and I stand by Paul. Thank you. Always. Thanks, Cheryl. Thank you, my friend. C-H-E-R-Y-L. Chase like the bank. But she <laughs> She's a former state representative from Pinell County. Thank you. Now I work with the sheriff. She's actually running for uh, uh, explorer. <laughs> <laughs> anybody else? Representatives? Mayor? Anybody? Good. Good. All right. Well, we're here to uh, take some of your questions or answer some further concerns that you may have and be happy to do that. Sure. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. There are a bunch of great two photos of there out too. What was out there right now on the internet? Uh, one of you in underwear. Yeah. What would you like to say about those photos? I'm, I'm not here to deny any of that. As I said in the very beginning, that these were photographs that, that are mine, that I sent to an individual uh, that was meant only for their observation, not to be splashed on, on the internet or on TV or anything like that. And there, there still needs to be some bounds for, for privacy. And that's where, this isn't a case, somebody asked earlier today about uh, Representative Weiner, and this has nothing to do with that. These, not only was he married, he actually came forward and his first statement was uh, that he lied about that. You know, and somebody hacked into a system. Well, guess what? Somebody did hack into my system, and we've got proof of that. But, but here, I'm, I'm not disowning or lying about anything. This is a moment of truth for me, and I want to set the record straight so we can get on to the business of what's most important to Arizona, because I can tell you this is probably the least of concern to real families and real people throughout our state, this issue. But, sure, sure. you know, yeah. the fact that, you know, it causes a, people to potentially question your judgment when as a military officer and a sheriff of Pinal County you allow these type of photographs to be taken knowing your public position and potentially expose yourself to this type of press conference well this today. this is this is where this is in my private my personal life and what I do in my private and personal life is my business and that's where nothing has ever affected not only my command my leadership and my performance and the results that that are derived from that and, and so uh, I, don't, I don't see that. And I believe most people, if, uh, when you look at people and their judgment and they sit in judgment of other people, it's like when it comes to real issues, when it comes to the importance of performance and anything else that affects other people, that's a different matter and a different story. And you had a question, yes. Well, I, I've sworn an oath for a four-year term as sheriff, and I am so honored to be able to complete that. And we're going to uh, complete our four-year uh, term as sheriff with a bang. We've got a lot of fine leaders that we're going to carry on and, and ensure that, that these changes, these improvements, these reforms that are cemented in, and, and we build upon that with the next leader, whoever the next sheriff is. And in fact, uh, this is a moment that uh, we're not hiding or ashamed of anything that I'm standing up saying that, yes, I, I'm going to actively campaign for Congress in the 4th Congressional District, and I intend to continue to earn the trust of the people by talking about the real issues, talking about the fact that we have uh, $16 trillion debt, the fact that 42 cents of every dollar that is spent today is borrowed. This is, this is insanity. We can't continue doing this. Not just eight or nine or ten percent unemployment. There's there's communities right here in Pinell County. The the mayor of Coolidge is here and his son TJ. Coolidge has twenty one percent unemployment. These are the important matters of, of the families, of the individuals here in Arizona, and that's what we should be talking about. So uh, that that's why in this effort to come out and just say all these things, I don't I don't want things to trickle out. I don't want things to be to be threatened and 
and for people to be saying these things or rumor mills and all the whispers. And this is where I've always kept that that boundary to say this is my personal, my private life. But now uh, it's not so private any longer. And it's an awful position for me to be in. I'm here at this moment and I'm here accepting responsibility. Yeah. Well, that's where here, as uh, as I mentioned, that what I do in my personal, my private life is my personal and private business with those individuals. Nothing has ever, it's not that I'm, as, as Ruben mentioned, I'm not married, I'm a single guy, I don't have a fake girlfriend. These are things that I choose to do. And, and this is where this should have no business coming out here to be a front page story, to be the headline news for 10 minutes talking about all these things uh, at the beginning of the hour when we have this amount of crisis here facing our state and facing our nation. So go ahead. Figure, yeah. You're a public figure. Absolutely. And that's where I'm here, not only with other public figures, but leaders that I'm, I'm privileged to serve with, talking about the public's business, talking about uh, the things that really matter to Americans, that the, the same liberties and freedoms that I, that I believe in that have actually, and many of us have put our, our lives in service to protect those liberties and those freedoms, we're different than every other country because of that. It is, it is not the division of our country, it's the very strength in our diversity. And, and that's what makes America great. That is not one that is not the, the facts, that is not the, the truth. And that's where some of this information and uh, what's happening is it's reported and then all of a sudden somebody, you're, you're stating it like it's fact. It was worded very, very differently in the initial news report that it could be or that he possibly used because it had an official voice. Well, that's my personal cell phone, okay? I never use any county or government resources whatsoever. Never. I never believed he was less legal than I or you were. Sir, yes, ma'am. How hard was it to come out today to say that you are gay, and why haven't you said it in the past when there's been lots of rumors? It's, it's very difficult uh, and liberating at the same time, and this is where I'm not going to live in fear. I'm not going to live with the, the threats, and to the point now that to be able to come out and to stand with uh, so many people that I respect and care deeply about and love is, is to stand and fight. That's who I am. So is this a very difficult moment for me? There's no question about it. It is. And this is where I ask people to look at and measure me in the same way all of us as Americans are measured by our value, by our contributions to our community, to our society. That's what America is all about. And, and uh, but it was, yes, it was absolutely uh, a very difficult moment uh, to have that happen. Why not come out before this? Let's because it's my private life and it's my personal life. I've never worn it on my sleeve. And this is where those who know me and you hear uh, numerous accounts of, of how I live my life and how I carry myself, uh, not only professionally, and this is where people, I've had countless women that have tried to date to marry me. And I can tell you, I'm off the market, but I always be courteous and kind, uh, not only to these ladies, it's part of my personality and who I am. I respect other people, you know, but this is my personal business. People would ask me, and not only it's none of their business, this is, this is my private life. And now it's out for the whole world to see. And that, that, is, that is very difficult. And I wish that didn't happen. And I can tell you that uh, for those who may seek elected office that are out there, there's not one person without some transgression or something that, that could be very embarrassing. And the measure of who I am is how I'm handling this today and, and, and in honesty. Just some other questions with, did you have a question? You raised your hand earlier. Well, what I'm here to say is I'm taking full responsibility and accountability for all of those matters that are of a personal nature. I tried to outline 
you know, the, the main charge, the allegation, which was the trigger to bring this issue out. And this, this is where that is blatantly false. It's not true. And I, I think just even on its basis that uh, when you see that who has the authority to do this and, and the threats, why on earth would I ever pursue a legal remedy at that time and, and not take lawful action with, with some other law enforcement agency? If, I, if I've known that, my effort was to, look, this is none of anybody else's business. And I find it highly ironic that somebody uh, in that position would actually be the one to bring that forward. But this is something that ha has happened in the past, too. Do you think voters think yeah. you should show good judgment to post explicit photos of yourself in any fashion? I think that, that voters... Who's been targeted by cartels? Could be blackmailed by cartels? Well, th this is the thing, that I'm here saying what, what happened here is, is no longer personal. This is public. And they're accusing me of doing something unethical and that that did not happen when it comes to my public duty and my oath I take my oath extremely seriously I will push other people aside even at my own personal uh, demise in order to, to get to the truth to help people and to do the right thing always and that's a that's a part of, of of who police officers always aspire to be even with our human failings and shortcomings yes you had a question the Romney campaign asked you to step down as I actually called the Romney campaign and, and said hey look I, I am actually going to step away from the campaign, and they, they said we support your decision, Sheriff. You were not pressured to step down? Not at all. It's, it's like all of our candidates for president, I, I think, speak to the essence of who we are as Americans, about, about liberties and freedoms. They may have different points of view on all these issues. None of us agree on everything. And this is where, in the end, uh, the big tent that Ronald Reagan talked about, the party of Lincoln that talks about freedom and liberties and always pushing towards the essence of the beauty of our Constitution that we're all created equal, endowed by our Creator with inalienable rights. These are God-given rights. And that when we, both culturally and in our government, put, put those barriers in our way, I believe people are more understanding and look at who we are as individuals and, and not what goes on in people's personal lives. Is there any No, as, as I said, that what I was choosing to do was to seek a legal remedy. There was a communication uh, that was this all documented. In fact, this has all been released to you and, and other members of the media. So it's all proof right there. There is no threat. And then there was a subsequent conversation with my attorney and his attorney. And that's where it is. It, and, and it's nothing more than that. Why did he make the allegation that you, you're denying this? Any idea why he made these allegations? Well, I'm stating a lot of what we call in law enforcement clues that could give you and bring you and arrive at the conclusion that clearly there is no other reason why that would be done, why that statement would be made. As I pointed out earlier, I had no other uh, information or reason to believe he's, he's no less legal than I am or you are. You know now if his visa has been... Uh... Everything that I, I understand is that he's absolutely in legal status here, absolutely. Well, this is where today, in talking about this issue with full transparency, about still with boundaries, you know, with specifics about me and my personal life that have always been off bounds. And there have been other elected leaders, both in this state that we all know and in other states across our country, uh, that it's not, I don't even see it as, oh, well, this person was given a pass or that person was given a pass. It is what it is. And I'm here today. And so what I'm trying to do is as forthright as possible, talking about deeply personal, private matters, I'm trying to be upfront in, in, in the disclosure of that and that information, uh, something that I, I feel no American should have to do. Why would any adult man think about posting or even sending an email or texting an explicit photo of himself anywhere, especially a public official like myself? Well, that's, for me, this is my personal, my private life. And that what I do in my personal and private life is my business. Just as it, it, what you do in your personal private life, I have no business in that. The federal government has no business in that. And this is where we're talking about personal liberties and freedoms. And that oftentimes that when even those in the media and, and those in our society in high positions always claim to be uh, all-encompassing and progressive and talking about the differences and celebrating those, and, and it's, it's a little bit... Uh, different here that a different standard that as a conservative Republican and as a sheriff it, it, it's 
it's a little bit different. I get that. I understand it. And that's why I wanted to share things that, honestly, before yesterday, I felt I never had to or would have shared. 